everyone. Thanks for joining me for this week's Pretty for Jesus devotional. Okay, over the past few weeks, I have um, been joining with other believers to pray specifically for several different friends of mine that have that have need they've needed miracles to take place in their lives. Um, I'm sure you have. Uh, people on your prayer list that you are specifically praying for and that you've joined with other believers in praying for those people. Um, or it could be that you have people praying for you because you're the one right now that you're in need of a miracle. So today I want to talk about the resurrection power that uh, takes place whenever believers come together and we pray for those that need chains to be broken off of their lives, for those that are needing miracles, for those that are uh, needing uh, just a sign and a wonder for those that that need to uh, just be set free, whatever it is, of whatever it is, that as believers, there is power whenever we come together, and whenever we pray and choose to believe that what God said he would do, he will do. Praise God for the power of prayer and the prayer of agreement. Um, in Matthew chapter 18, starting in verse 18 through 20, it tells us that truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Again, I tell you truly that if two of you on this earth agree about anything you ask for, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. Praise God. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. We have the opportunity as believers, as the church, to come together and to gather in the name of Jesus and to speak life, to begin to pro proclaim the healing power of God, to know that God's promises are for those that we're praying for. There is resurrection power when believers come together and begin to pray. I love in Acts chapter 12, you all, this chapter has blessed me so much um, in just understanding what this looks like. And I encourage you to read the entire chapter. Uh, we don't have time to go through it all uh, for this devotional, but we're going to hit some just highlighted points. So we see here in the beginning of the chapter, James is killed by King Herod. And um, King Herod is just a, a nasty man, and he is trying to make an example next of Peter. So he has Peter imprisoned, and the whole goal was he was going to then uh, um, execute him in front of the Jews to make an example of Peter. So we see here that in verse 5, it tells us this, but while Peter was in prison, of Acts chapter 12, verse 5, the church prayed very earnestly for him. So we see that we have a responsibility and an opportunity to pray for those that have been bound by the enemy, for those that have been, uh, that are in places where just the devil has come and attacked them, and uh, that we have the opportunity to then come together in unity and one accord and begin to pray for those people. What does that look like? Possibly it looks like praying uh, with other believers in your church for your church to begin to see the lost and the hurting saved. It looks like praying for people that have been under attack physically, that you can come and join with other believers, that we know that Jesus defeated death, hell, and the grave on the cross that sickness was paid for, and that when you hook your faith up with other believers, there is resurrection power and knowing I am believing God that whatever it is that's been binding you, well, guess what? That has to be loosed in the name of Jesus. This is the opportunity that we have as believers to come together and to have that agreement of God, you are moving on their behalf. There is power in your name. So it goes on to say that before Peter is placed on, on trial, he fell asleep. He is fashion, fastened between two chains, between two soldiers. There's another guard at the prison gate. Well, there's a suddenly that takes place. Because whenever believers come together and pray, there are suddenlies that are going to take place in the lives of those that you are praying for. So it suddenly takes place and a bright light shines into that prison cell. And you know, the Lord sends a ministering angel to deliver Peter out of every single obstacle in that cell. So much so, Peter thinks that he's in a vision. The, the angel delivers Peter, while he thinks he's in a vision, out in front of all of these guards. The angel opens up every door, completely sets him free from this death sentence. This is the resurrection power whenever the church becomes comes together and begins to pray. So Peter comes out 
And the, the angel leads him all the way out into the street, completely delivers him from this prison. Peter wakes up and you know where he goes? I love this. He goes to uh, Mark's mom's house, okay? John Mark, Mark, we all know him. He wrote the Gospel of Mark, okay? So at his house, there was a prayer meeting going on. Oh, at his mom's house, excuse me. There was a prayer meeting going on. Here comes Peter, he knocks on the door. The servant girl, Rhoda, answers the door. I really like her because she's just hysterical to me. She is so surprised, she shuts the door, leaves Peter standing there, still knocking, and comes back and is like, you won't believe this. Peter is out front. He's been delivered. Resurrection power. Peter shows up at the house where they've been praying for him. I mean, you all, that's the power of God. Set free, fully delivered. Then he's able to go on and continue to do what God had called him to do. The same way as these people were doing what the Lord had called them to do. I want my house to be a house of prayer. I want to join with other believers and have opportunities where we come and we pray people out of situations knowing that God is faithful and that there is resurrection power when believers come together and pray. Praise God. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to pray, right? We're going to get with other believers and we're going to, we're going to do what the Word of God says and we're going to see people set free, people come to know Jesus. We're going to see our churches changed. We're going to see people just uh, healed, miracle signs and wonders because when believers come together and pray, there's resurrection power. All right, I love you guys. God is faithful and hope to see you soon. Bye.